etching, stainless steel, pub openers, making some custom pub openers, stainless steel, both sides. I have this as silver. I also have some here in black, which I have not tried yet to see what they would do. Using the longer Ray 5 10 watt laser to do it. And I'm going to walk you through it. We'll see how they turn out. They better turn out good. Coming up. Hi, I'm Roger. Welcome to the shop. And what I'm doing here today, I'm using the longer Ray 5 10 watt laser to etch stainless steel. No, you don't engrave stainless steel, you etch it. You want to engrave it, you need a fiber laser. Or you need an engraver. The uh, diode laser does not actually engrave it, it just etches it. And that's what it's doing here. It's putting a black etching onto the stainless steel finish of these pub openers. And as I mentioned at the beginning, I also have a couple of black ones that came with the set. And I'm not real sure what I'm going to do with them because when you etch stainless steel, it etches it in black. So maybe I can strip the black off of them or something. I'll have to look into that. But i got a couple of these I need to make. And I'm going to bring you over here on the computer while this one here is running. And I'll show you how I got this set up and what the settings are. Here's a look at the computer screen. I don't have the right setup up here to actually go live on the computer and record the video. So we're going to have to do it this way. Uh, the orange line you see around this is what they call a, a tooling. That's as you see over here in the layers, and it doesn't engrave that. It, that's just for me to be able to do my layout, and when I frame my project, it shows everything that is going to be within the uh, frame. So this is my graphics right here. They're, they're, it's just text, and it's set at to fill at 450. Originally, it was going to be 340 millimeters per minute. I had done one other one, and I found out I could up the speed. So now we're at 450 millimeters per minute and 100% power. This will give you a little bit of a look from the back side of uh, what the graphics are looking like and something you need to remember if you ever go on the back side and actually when you're on the front side watching is to put your safety glasses or goggles on. Especially if you're on that back side. Get the opener spaced the way I wanted it and since I've had to do a few of these um, I actually drew a couple lines on my spoil board so I could lay the next opener right back into the same spot. So I'm doing both sides of these. So after this side's done, I will flip it over and put ex the same thing on the other side of this one. And having that layout mark on the spoil board is saving me a lot of time from having to uh, remeasure everything every time. And of course, I set the focus before I started. I've made these before using uh, a 5 watt laser head and the uh, 10 watt well, pretty much only takes half the time. Normally that's not linear, but in this case it is. Yeah, one of the nice things about the longer Ray 5 laser is it, you can work it offline. And it does have a touch screen. There's a spot right up here for a uh, micro SD card. You can uh, put your G code on that and run it if you're doing repetitive uh, projects. I've done that on here with uh, a bunch of coasters I made custom engraved cork coasters. Uh, because each one of these uh, pub openers I'm making are unique, I am not using that function right here. I'm actually doing all this in light burn and doing them one at a time. You know, now that I'm looking at this and running this batch of these, I may make one for myself. And yeah, just change the name on this particular one because I happen to like beer and rum too. And up to campground I do have a beer and rum bar. That's in our cabana. And yes, that wood you see stacked in the background, a whole bunch of that's going to get laser engraved with our trademark on it. And there'll be another video coming up and how I do that. So this is progressing real well. And again, um, even if you're looking at it from the shielded side, put the goggles on if you're looking at it for a prolonged period of time. And if you're definitely, if you're looking at that from the back side, you have to have them on. That will really damage your eyes. Okay, so here we are. And there's a little pencil mark on there as I was getting the center laid out for this particular one, but now I'll just flip it over and do the other side. Of course, even though I just did one, I always frame my work first. And we'll just hit start, and away we go again. 
A little tip if you're working this off of a computer as I am right here and on this uh, laptop. Uh, actually a couple tips. Number one, you do not need the most latest and greatest and most powerful gaming laptop they made. This is a very old HP. It's uh, probably 10 years old. It's got a uh, Ryzen 3 processor in it. Not a whole lot of RAM, but it runs light burn and runs the lasers just fine. You don't need anything expensive. If you're on a budget, go to the pawn shop and find something, or look on eBay or Etsy or one of them kind of places where you can find that kind of stuff. Okay, the tip I wanted to give was when you are working off of a computer like this, disable the sleep mode. If the computer goes asleep while you're running a project, that project will stop. And it's unlikely you'll be able to start correctly in the same spot again. So disable the, the sleep mode and the screensaver and all that while you're doing projects like this. The other thing too is don't start a project and then close the laptop and walk away because that puts a laptop to sleep. That'll ruin your project. So a question I get from time to time is Cause you en can you engrave other metals? Um, engrave? No. Etch some and some with some coatings. Uh, for example, anodized aluminum, you can etch that real well and it, it shows up very, very well. Uh, some of the other metals like uh, steel and uh, bare aluminum, maybe copper or brass. Uh, I don't think anybody's going to be doing gold or platinum or rhodium or any of them real expensive ones. But uh, to give you an idea on those, they need a coating. There's uh, different types of coating, metal etching coatings you can put on. And again, you're etching it, you're not engraving it. If you actually want to engrave, again, you need like a fiber laser to do that. A uh, diode laser will not engrave metal. Uh, one of the other questions I had once, could you engrave on a beer can? Engrave, no. If there is paint or anodizing on that aluminum can, uh, yes, you can. In fact, I've done it as a little joke for my uh, son-in-law. I actually engraved or etched his name on several different kinds of beer. So I uh, asked him if he wanted to try one, and he wasn't sure. I said, well, it's got your name on it. And he looked at How'd you do that? that? You can do it with a rotary if you've got one. It's, it's a fun little gimmick thing. And as I said, you can uh, etch it. And all it really does is it etches the paint off. It doesn't actually go into the aluminum. And no, you're not going to blow a hole in the aluminum and have beer spraying all over. So, no, that won't happen. It, uh, dial laser does not cut metal. Period. Just doesn't do it. Okay, the other side's done. Yeah, we got a shadow going on there. There we go. Jim's beer and rum bar. Okay, I got nine more to make. Not exactly like this, but nine more. So there we go. There's how to engrave. I should again not engrave, but X stainless steel with a longer ray five with a ten watt head. Yes, I'm running 100% power, so somebody's going to say, well, you're going to wear out your laser head, you're going to ruin it. You could do it at half the power and twice the time. No, not necessarily. That's not linear either. And like I said, I have nine more of these to do, and I don't want to spend forever out here doing it. Same thing when I'm running uh, laser engraving ceramic tiles. Uh, I run a little bit higher power on them. I have yet to wear out a laser head with the exception of the two trees what laser, but that failed within about like an hour. So that was a manufacturing problem. Otherwise, uh, longer Ray 5, 10 watt. It's also available in 5 watt. There'll be links in the description on where to get one of these if you like it. I'll put a link to these in there. And when I was buying them, I didn't pay attention that you got some black ones too. So I got to figure out what the heck to do with these. Anyways, there again, it makes a great uh, gift item to sell. Perhaps you could put any type of graphic or... Uh, message on there you like. So if you got anything out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up. Always helps the channel. I'm Roger in the shop. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.